Hello there. All right, so I'm gonna try to answer the question. What is Minecraft? And it's a very difficult question because if you've never tried it It's really hard to explain In essence, it is a sandbox game. What does that mean? Basically, it's it's a game where you can do everything anything and everything so and the best way for me to explain what you could do with it is to show you what I made in the last two and a half hours. So this might look familiar to you. Oh no, it's a sign and it says stuff and it is an address here too. So this is an outside of the library, Oise library. Uh, I, we've all walked here lots and lots of times. We've all looked in the window to see who's sitting and studying. And what I'm going to show you is this is what I made just from memory and from the plans I found online. So basically I recreated the Oise library. The entrance is right here, automatic door opens. Oh, someone's talking to the security guard. There's an Oise sign right there behind him. Uh, this is the area where we'll sometimes sit and meet our friends. Coffee shop in the back. Uh, doesn't actually sell coffee yet, but it does sell food. So there's a, this is a food dispenser that has vegetarian food, carnivore food and dessert. So if you want some uh, vegetarian food, oh, look at that. There's some sort of a pie thing. And if you want some dessert, uh, just give me a potato, I think. All right, so not, not exactly, not the best dessert in the world, but there's a bunch of other stuff that's randomly generated. Now let's go inside the library and check it out. So this is always a library. It's open, doors open automatically. The return box thingy. Uh, the librarians are right here. They're behind glass because they kept running away from me. And I told them to stay inside and help people. But they just don't want to help. Um, this is the area with computers, or also known as ma magic machines of the internet. Um, these are the computers here. This is actually the printer and I'll show you it actually works. It does print stuff out. Oh, wait. So if you press the button, it shoots out a paper. And this paper you can actually write on as well. Um, the downstairs, unfortunately, is not finished. And it's not finished for a reason that is apparently there's a flooding. Because I made a mistake of building this on water. So basically it's closed due to flooding because there's water everywhere. Um, Oise signs on the walls. This only took me like five seconds to include, so it's it's pretty easy to introduce these things. There's all these like uh, random people pictures here on this wall, which is actually in the real life as well. Um, so a lot of this is quite authentically reproduced. So this is a stage where people speak all the time. This area I've never actually been in, so it's not familiar to me, but I use the schematics to basically reconstruct these bathrooms for men and women. You can go inside them, you can check it out, there's a toilet in there. Um, and the bookcases, obviously. So this is only the first floor and it only took me about two and a half hours. But this kind of gives you an idea that, oh, also the lights are electrical here. So that's that's pretty cool. So this game also has electricity. It has all sorts of awesome um, ways of making different uh, circuits and stuff. So you can actually make a computer inside the computer. Um, so, and this gives you an idea that this is an amazing tool for students to not only play, but create things that you want them to create. So for example, oh yeah, there's no second floor. I haven't finished it yet. Uh, for example, if you want to uh, ask your student to recreate a part of your story in the book, you can actually ask them to use Minecraft and they can totally recreate the entire book. Like for example, Hamlet in Minecraft, that'd be awesome. Uh, in math and science, there's so many different things you can do. There's actually scientific experiments, there's chemistry that's already in the game that you can use to um, reproduce different labs. And math, you can, um, anything from measuring volumes to adding and subtracting to multiplying to more advanced math like calculus as well. Um, so there's really no limit to what you can do in a game. And the thing is, it's actually fun. It's super fun. Once you start doing it, like when I started doing this, I had to postpone my MTRIP and do this for like an hour and a half. And then I st it turned out to be three hours almost. Um, so it is fun. It's super, super creative. It allows you to create worlds out of nothing. And I may actually continue this and create the entire library. Or maybe even the whole audio building. So anyway, so this is Minecraft, and thank you for watching. See you soon.